इफ यू हैव टू डिफरेंट पावर सप्लाई फर्स्ट इज मेन पावर सप्लाई सेकेंड में भी जनरेटर पावर सप्लाई सोलर पैनल सप्लाई और इन्वर्टर सप्लाई और इनी कुड बी स्टैंड बाय सप्लाई ओके एंड यू वॉन्ट वेन यूर मेन पावर सप्लाई ऑन योर लोड शुड रन ऑन मेन पावर सप्लाई एंड इफ सेम टाइम यूर सेकेंड पावर सप्लाई ऑन सो यूर लोड शुड रन ऑन मेन पावर सप्लाई ओके एंड वेन यूर मेन पावर सप्लाई कट सो यूर लोड शुड ट्रांसफर ऑटोमेटिकली टू जनरेटर पावर सप्लाई ओके नाउ मेन पावर सप्लाई ऑफ सो लोड ट्रांसफर ऑन जनरेटर पावर सप्लाई वेन मेन पावर सप्लाई ऑन सो यू लोड ट्रांसफर ऑटोमेटिकली टू मेन पावर सप्लाई ओके For this operation, we connect a standard automatic change over switch. We also connect a smart Wi-Fi MCB. By this smart Wi-Fi MCB, we can control our house load with mobile manually. You can see here. We can start and stop our house load with mobile. Please we turn on MCB. We also control house load by voice command. You can see here. Please turn off MCB. Now let's start and understand complete setup for this control wiring. Okay, we have one automatic change over switch, one energy meter for main power supply. We connect external second energy meter for generator power supply, or it could be inverter supply or solar panel supply. For load, we connect one bulb. Okay, first learn about this standard automatic change over switch. Okay, this standard change over switch is made by CNC Electric Company. Which model number you can see on your screen? Now, first learn about power wiring of this standard automatic change over switch. Okay, if we have two power supply, first is main power supply or normal power supply. So we need to connect normal power supply phase and neutral input power supply here. And for second power supply, if we have generator, so we need to connect generator output or inverter output to source B here, phase and neutral. Okay, now connect as a load. We connect one bulb. Okay. so connect a bulb connection from here output terminal also we connect to one smart wifi mcb for controlling load okay this is a smart wifi mcb by this smart wifi mcb we can control our house load with mobile okay if you want to know more about this smart wifi mcb how to program how to connect this wifi mcb to mobile so we made one detailed video which link provides in description okay Now know more about this control terminal of this standard automatic change over switch. Okay, for source A we have control terminals here, and for source B we have control terminals here. Now understand about control terminals. First control terminal is A R, so we need to connect the phase wire from source A to A R. and connect a neutral to a n from source a so we just need to connect a single phase power supply if you want to connect external indicator buzzer or alarm so you can use the relay terminal but we have already indicator in this automatic change over switch so we are not using this relay terminal we have relay terminal common no and nc same for source b okay now understand source b connection first connect source b phase wire to b r terminal okay source b phase wire to b r terminal source b n terminal to b n terminal that means the source b phase and neutral connected to b r and b n terminal it's a very simple control wiring connection okay and we also have auto and manual switch that means if you want to control your load automatically that means when main power supply off so you are load shift transfer automatically to generator power supply and when main power supply comes so your load transfer automatically to main power supply okay and if you want to change manually so first you need to select manual then you can run your load on main power supply or generator power supply as you select manually okay so you have auto and manual function here this standard automatic change over switch rating is 100 ampere and operating voltage is 220 volt ac okay we have one indicator for source a power supply when source a power supply on so your indicator a blink when source b power supply comes so your b indicator will blink that means you can see indication which power supply comes here okay now understand complete setup we have two energy meter one for main power supply second for a standby power supply okay so we connect one circuit breaker for main power supply connect one circuit breaker for standby supply okay 
so we connect two circuit breaker and for load we connect one bulb for controlling this load we connect one smart wi-fi mcb okay so we connect one smart wi-fi mcb by this we can control our house load with mobile application now setup is ready before starting control wiring first understand energy meter connection okay so first energy meter we have line wire to one terminal and output of line wire to second terminal okay and neutral connection to third terminal and output of neutral to fourth terminal and second energy meter its connection is different let's see in first terminal we just need to connect to phase wire okay this connection is different so before connecting connection first check terminals okay in this energy meter first terminal phase wire and second terminal is neutral wire third terminal is neutral output and fourth terminal is phase output wire okay you can see here now we connect input power supply to this energy meter you can see here in first energy meter we connect a phase wire to first terminal and neutral wire to third terminal and second energy meter we connect a phase wire first terminal and neutral to second terminal okay now connect the first energy meter phase wire to second terminal so we connect one connector here for phase wire now connect this connector to circuit breaker which we use for main power supply so we connect a phase wire here and for neutral wire we use energy meter fourth terminal so we connect one connector for neutral wire to connect circuit breaker input terminal now main power supply input connection circuit breaker connection is done same connection for second power supply so first we connect a phase wire to energy meter fourth terminal so we connect one phase wire to energy meter fourth terminal connect here to connect second power supply circuit breaker phase terminal input connection now same connection for neutral wire so take neutral from third terminal of this energy meter so connect a neutral here and connect second mcb input connection so our both circuit breaker input connection is now done now see power wiring of this automatic changeover switch okay first connect main power supply circuit breaker output wire to automatic changeover switch input terminal source a terminal okay so we connect the phase wire here to circuit breaker output to source terminal of automatic changeover switch r terminal okay so we connect the phase wire to circuit breaker output and connect this phase wire to source a terminal of automatic changeover switch r terminal now connect a neutral wire to circuit breaker output to source a and terminal okay so you can see here main power supply automatic changeover switch input connection is now done connection make sure fully tight okay now same connection for second power supply so we connect one phase wire to second power supply and connect to source b terminal okay so first we connect a phase wire to circuit breaker output terminal and connect to source b r terminal okay this is second power supply or standby power supply connection now connect neutral wire to circuit breaker output terminal to automatic changeover switch and terminal now automatic changeover switch input connection is now done for output connection we use one smart wi-fi mcb so we connect automatic changeover switch output wire to wi-fi mcb input connection okay so we connect one phase wire to load terminal and connect this phase wire to smart wi-fi mcb input phase terminal okay so we connect here phase wire and for neutral we connect neutral to load terminal of automatic changeover switch now connect this neutral wire to smart wi-fi mcb input and terminal now our load mcb input connection is now done connection is very simple and make sure connection should be fully tight okay now for load we use one bulb okay so we connect a bulb wire to this wi-fi mcb okay so we connect a bulb wire phase and neutral wire here as you know first we need to connect a neutral wire to this neutral chain or this connector but because we have only one load so we connect it directly neutral and phase to the circuit breaker if you have multiple loads so first connect a neutral wire to this connectors but we have single load so we connect a phase and neutral directly so this is smart wi-fi mcb so our load connection is now done our power wiring is now done now understand how to do control wiring for control wiring first we connect one connector to a r terminal 
टू सोर्स ए आर टर्मिनल ओके इट्स वेरी सिंपल कंट्रोल वायरिंग एनी वन कैन डू वेरी इजिली सो वी कनेक्ट वन कनेक्टर टू ए आर टर्मिनल दिस कनेक्ट टू द सोर्स ए आर टर्मिनल सेकेंड फॉर न्यूट्रल कनेक्शन वी कनेक्ट ए एन टर्मिनल वन कनेक्टर एंड कनेक्ट दिस कनेक्टर टू सोर्स ए एन टर्मिनल ओके नाउ फॉर सोर्स बी कंट्रोल वायरिंग वी कनेक्ट बी आर टर्मिनल टू सोर्स बी आर टर्मिनल एंड कनेक्ट बी एंड टर्मिनल फॉर न्यूट्रल कनेक्शन टू सोर्स बी एंड टर्मिनल सो कंट्रोल वायरिंग ऑल्सो इज वेरी सिंपल एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट एनी इंडिकेटर अलार्म आर बजर सो यू कैन यूज दिस ऑटोमेटिक चेंज ओवर स्विच रिले टर्मिनल ओके सो नाउ आवर कंट्रोल वायरिंग इज नाउ डन नाउ सी हाउ दिस ऑटोमेटिक चेंज ओवर स्विच वर्क इनपुट पावर सप्लाई इज ऑन फर्स्ट वी ऑन लोड एम सी बी नाउ मेन पावर सप्लाई ऑन सो लोड रन With main power supply, you can see here A indicator blinks. That means A power supply on. Now same time we on generator or second power supply. So you can see here B indicator also glowing. Okay. If main power supply off, so our load automatically transfer to generator power supply. Okay. Now B indicator also glowing. If main power supply is comes, so our load automatically transfer to main power supply. Okay. If main power supply off, so load automatically transfer to generator power supply. Now, if you want to perform this operation manually, so first to select main one. Now, main power supply off, only generator power supply coming. Now, for this manual operation, you select manually load to generator power supply. If main power supply comes, so you need to transfer your load manually to main power supply. You can see here. So, in manual operation. you need to transfer your load manually on which power supply you want to run your load okay so this is simple operation of this automatic change over switch auto and manual connection now if you want to control your house load with mobile application so first you need to install this to your smart application to play store so for this controlling we already installed to your smart application so we on to your smart application you can see here mcb we given name here now you can see operating voltage here 220 volt is now coming now if you want to start a stop your load manually so you can start a stop your load manually here by pressing this button stop start stop and start and in this smart wifi mcb we have multiple protections like over voltage and under voltage which we can select here manually and if any fault occur so you can select here mcb will trip alarm or shut okay you so you can select here manually and if you want to know more about this smart wifi mcb so we already made complete detailed video which link provides in description okay now if you want to control this smart wifi mcb with mobile application so first you need to install google assistant app now first connect this application to this wifi mcb first link this wifi mcb to mobile it takes some seconds if you want to learn a complete detail video so we link provides in description okay first we can start stop manually here with google assistant application now if you want to start stop your load with a voice command please turn on so you mcb can start stop your load with this voice command please turn off mcb hope you understand complete installation of this standard automatic change over switch with two power supply also learn about smart wifi mcb if you like this video please press like button if you have any query please ask in comments box for today's enough we'll meet next video thanks for watching